to the migrant crisis in New York City boiling over today on Staten Island. Residents lashed out at migrant children and their parents housed by the city in a former elementary school. The foul language so bad we can't air much of it and it caused some of the asylum seekers to leave fearing for their safety. Meanwhile, residents say they worry for their own children as a legal battle over the site plays out in the courts. Eyewitness News reporter Stefan Kim with the story. You are all going to sleep at night when little kids start getting raped and you allow this? Not here. Not anywhere. Get lost. Go home. Where's the children? We're not welcome. As buses arrived in this conservative residential neighborhood on Staten Island to unload migrants, protesters unloaded their fury. Go their simmering anger, even aimed at the NYPD. I hope it shows up in your backyard. Nobody stands with NYPD anymore, now you know why. Dozens of asylum seekers were bused to a former Catholic school for housing here. Hundreds of residents started protesting overnight. Three of them arrested for obstructing governmental administration. Common sense, decency, and what this country should be all about. That's your victory. And hours after migrants arrived, residents with a short lived victory. A judge granted a temporary restraining order blocking the city, only to be reversed hours later when the city won its appeal. The mayor's office says it empathizes with residents and is reminding them this is a federal problem that can only be solved by Washington. The city says it is out of options. We're Christians, we're Americans, we're patriots. We have compassion for these migrants. We love people, but we just want to make sure our children are safe. The plan is to house about 50 asylum seekers here, women and families, no single men. 20 of them left, though, because they say they felt unsafe after being heckled and jeered. In the arrow car section of Staten Island, Safan Kim, Channel 7, Eyewitness News.